Hey, so we're going to we're going to do some stuff now on table. This is called a table here. And uh, should I give you my table? Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. And there are four different ways, uh, really five different ways that Sean can go across this table from the side. Mm -hmm. And so choose one. All right. So this one, she's going hands first with her tummy against me, and this naturally leads to her curling over, and I'm often going to support the person here so that they don't clunk too hard with their pelvis against the floor there. Mm -hmm. okay. so, so that might show up. And then, um, do you want to go back over? Mm -hmm. And so this way, she's, she's going with her back against me. And that has these fun possibilities. They can show up with that. And so let's do that at the end, OK? We'll okay. follow each other with that one at the end. And and so then sometimes the person, one person's going to be here, the other person's already sitting on the floor or like that, and they can, they can start to crawl over you or put their weight on you with legs first, and they might spiral or turn or do something else that is comfortable for them. And when you're in this table, you can then follow in interesting ways, right? I'm allowed to, to, to go and abandon being the table. So, and then the, the fourth one, leading with your feet, see that was, yeah, there we go. And this has some, again, interesting possibilities for Sean when she's up on my back, and it's got interesting possibilities for what happens as she goes down. So who knows where it's all going to be? So if we then, if we then take that, oh, let's do the, the side one here up for that. You can also enter from the side this way, where the side of your body is against your partner. And that produces an interesting opportunity for balancing and doing some cool stuff. And just, you know, you treat this person that you're on like a human jungle gym. <laughs> the person who's on the ground, they're supported on knees and hands, and they've got a little bit of an arch in their back so that it's, it's comfortable. Mm -hmm. right? And also, if you, if you do table for a moment, when I'm, when I'm going to go on to someone and give them my weight, I really want to pour my weight. So, so I'm, I'm treating myself like a sandbag, and I'm pouring my weight into my partner, so that if my partner says no, if my partner says stop, I can, I can just retreat. I don't want to be falling on her in some way that might cause her injury. So I'm pouring my weight with sensitivity and going from there. And so here, I've got this. But if I was going the other direction, where I'm leading with my hands, but my, our backs are together, this can go into a headstand like this, and Sean can follow me. So that that point of contact just continues. And she rolls, and I follow her, and roll off here, and she follows me. Isn't that fun? <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you want to say about that? One thought, the person who is the bridge, it's important to keep the feet 
down like this rather than up on the toes just to protect the ankles. Thank you. That's great. Yeah. 